Brian Halicki with the WKBN 27 First News Forecast. It's been a bit of a chilly Saturday for us, but good news, I'm tracking a much more pleasant Sunday. We're going to see some sunshine temperatures climbing too. Now Monday, it's looking a little rainy. We'll talk about a storm system that I'm watching. They'll be moving in on Monday, bringing us some soggy conditions and those temperatures. They'll be even warmer later in the week. As it looks right, right now, we'll be spending some time in the 60s by the time we get to about Thursday. I'll have those details in that seven day forecast. Let's start with what's going on right now. Clouds are clearing out of the area. Good news for tomorrow because that will allow for that sunshine. However, it's going to create a bit of a cold night for us. Temperatures will really start to fall with those clouds clearing out. Radar's quiet as we scan the skies across the valley and not even picking up anything on the loop. We were watching for some uh, sprinkles or even a few flurries earlier in the day. And uh, now with skies clearing, that threat is done for us tonight. It's the temperatures now that we'll keep a focus on as they start to fall. 42, that's been our high for the day. Normally, we should be into the 50s this time of year, right in the middle 50s, but well below normal day. We do have more below normal temperatures in that seven day forecast, but as I said, there are some 60s waiting for us once we get through a large part of the work week. Winds, they've also been a little bit blustery here and there through the afternoon. Here's how things shape up right now with the temperatures. Most spots in the middle 40s. We're looking at 44 in Damascus, 46 in Guilford Lake. Mercer a little cooler at 39 and we'll continue to see these numbers fall through the 30s and then go into the upper 20s by tomorrow morning. The good news with the wind, that's also going to calm down. It'll help those temperatures fall when it does, but you'll start to feel a little bit better at least. Those wind chills won't be as bad. Current wind chill in Youngstown, 36 degrees, so already feeling like it's in the 30s, and yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a chilly night. Now, the next storm system that I'm watching, notice all this rain you see. It's well away from us still in and around Texas here, but this storm system will continue to march in our direction. It gets here Monday morning, and once we see that move through, things will get soggy. Rain could even be a little uh, steady at times Monday, so you're going to want to have the umbrellas handy as we begin the work week. Let's track that here with future radar tonight. All is quiet. Temperatures cold though. Upper 20s by 6 a.m. And we'll see them start to warm quickly. We're going to have a lot of sunshine tomorrow. Look at this. 42 by 10 a.m. Once we get into the afternoon, creeping into the 50s. 51 here in Youngstown and Warren by 2 in the afternoon. And then we're actually going to go to the upper 50s. I think the sunshine will help boost these numbers a little bit higher by the late afternoon tomorrow. If you also notice not showing any clouds. That's not until we get into Sunday night and head toward Monday. Starting to see a few of them and really Really becoming mostly cloudy Monday morning by 7 a.m. Clouds thickening up and then the rain starts to push in Monday morning, showing it here at about 11 o'clock. And then you'll see even showing a little bit heavier rain as we go through Monday afternoon. So a good day for the umbrellas and yeah, not going to be the most pleasant of starts to the work week for us. Here's your details. 27 tonight, clear skies and certainly a cold night. Tomorrow, 57, mainly sunny, going to feel a lot better out there. And then tomorrow night, not as cold, 35, skies start to cloud up. And Monday's when that rain arrives. Rain likely 51. Could see some snowflakes mixing in early in the day Tuesday. Also later in the day with a chance for rain and snow showers. Wednesday, maybe some snow flurries early in the morning, but skies will clear out and then that warm up. 65 Thursday, sun and clouds. Early in the day Friday, we could have a few sprinkles with the system moving through, but then some more sunshine later in the day. Isolated sprinkle possible Saturday. How about 67 for the high?